Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, well, here we are. Um, it is uh, once again a lecture. I'm actually not going not gonna to be a very long lecture here because uh, uh, I feel as though, uh, you know, actually I was just going over the chapters that's left and I was also looking at our schedule and it looks like that um, we're not going to have to, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to have probably a limited amount of work left to do actually <laughs> given our schedule. So uh, and I'll explain. Um, Anyway, um, so um, basically, actually, uh, the way it looks at it looks like I basically taught you the last new thing I needed to teach you, which was the feature news writing. Um, and also, um, you know, I want to make sure that we do the major assignment correctly. I've also actually been back to you all and basically gotten giving you all the feedback you really probably need at this point. Obviously, if you need any more feedback, please let me know. Um, and uh, of, the, of the 22 proposals that were submitted, by the way, 20, 20 were accepted. I did ask two to revise it. So if you among those two, you know who you are, please make sure that you get that back to me <laughs> within next week. You know, an idea and the better I knew, better idea. Okay. Um, all right, so let's share the screen here, actually, see what's left. Um, all right. Um, so let's see here. This is actually the end of the student view. Um, so first of, all, first of all about that, beyond the student view, I have actually data journalism listed. Uh, we're not going to do that. So. <laughs> To be honest with you, that's actually something I typically drop like almost every semester. So it's it's you know it's not because of anything, any kind of circumstances unrelated to the fact that we just haven't really gotten to it. To be honest with you, I really just like kind of like stick to basic journalism in this class. Um, this requires probably a little more investigative, and to me, that's too much of a distraction from this. So um, anyway, the major assignment will be. Actually, again, whatever topic you, cho you chose, um, and I will make sure that the major assignment um, entry is actually posted on the um, on the uh, canvas. Okay, that'll be, and then that, again, the major assignment will be due on the last day of will, will be the last day of class, which will be December thirteenth. Okay, um, that also means that some of these reading assignments I feel will be. Um, you know, well, either they'll cover areas, uh, cover areas that we, we won't really need to get to or whatever. That'd be like chapter 18, okay? Um, and chapters 13 to 14, you don't have to read, okay? Chapter 18 um, actually deals with investigative reporting um, and chapters 13 and 14, uh, I mean, actually it might deal with 13 a bit, but but 14 deals with visual journalism, which deals with like things like that you would learn in digital news media, which I also teach, by the way, which I'll be teaching next semester, just in case you want to know. Um, so anyway, so that's to deal with that. So, um, so anyway, you don't have to read chapters 13, 14, and 18 either, okay? So um, like I said, right now, we just have to worry about the megalomania story, the, um, the, the, uh, um, the uh, rewrite of the megalomania assignment and and a major assignment. Okay, so let's look at the schedule of things to do in terms of um, writing assignments. Okay, so see, as you know, this was due last week, the fourth assignment, which was the megalomania. And then soon I'll be posting, in a few days, you should actually get that back. Okay, I've actually graded about half of them. All right, so. Then I'll be, then on November 22nd, the rewrite for that will be due. I know that'll be a Thanksgiving week, but you can do it. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, this Monday, okay. I'm sorry, next week, not this Monday. I'm sorry, a week from Monday will be the feature assignment, which I went over during last week's lecture. Please, you know, consult with that again if you have any kind of confusion or issues with that. Okay. And of course, you can also consult with me directly. If you want to, you know, send me a rough draft of that, please do so. Okay. Um, and let's see here. So what I did do is I, like I said, I went over the major assignments. Okay. Just make sure I get everything back. Okay. 
Um, just a couple of things about megalomania first, okay? And that is, uh, you know, I did actually just so you know, I tried not to be as, uh, I guess, snotty, I guess, in some of the responses, but just so you know that, like, actually, I, from what I've seen so far, people have done well on this, and I appreciate that. Um, but you can tell that some people didn't watch the lectures. So, uh, you know, I mean, you have to actually, you know, you have, if you watch the lectures, you would have known what to do because in one of the lectures, I think it was two or three lectures ago, I actually basically gave away the story. I told everybody what they needed to do for that assignment. So um, if you said something, and I'm gonna give away some things here too. If you said, if you said something like, you know, Marv Bronson was asked to resign, then I know you either weren't paying attention or you, uh, you weren't, uh, maybe you didn't see it at all, but he actually resigned. I made a point of that in the lecture. He didn't actually, it wasn't just asked to resign, he resigned. Um, uh, also, the importance of also basically putting up high the uh, information about the, um, the um, you know, what happened actually at that party. You know, um, I think that there should be some mention of that in the lead because that is actually what makes this more than an ordinary resignation story. But, but some details should be up in the second or third or fourth or fifth graph, somewhere around there, I would say. Of what happened at that party because the, the, the details are just absolutely crazy okay uh, maybe during next week's lecture i'll show you what you know um <laughs> the original story about that and where all that came from okay but first let's deal with the major assignment okay um just just some things i mean you got feedback on that so and it was very simple what you got if it was just basically blanket approved you got basically a note that said that your major assignment has been approved if i did approve it was largely because of the you know the fact that it was just really actually beyond you the simple in nature something that you, I feel like you can do, and it was something where I feel like it was typically where you feel like you can get you know access to something like basically interviewing students or something or I a lot I, I had some people say they wanted to interview people at a store about some sort of issue with a sneaker so I said yeah okay fine do that as long as you can have access yeah, you guarantee access to people okay. It was also also what I wanted was essentially a news story. Okay, if it was what I saw in some cases, um, and actually this is an example of a story I thought that would could work because it deals yes with a big issue, a national issue, and I did mention that maybe like a national issue wasn't necessarily such a good idea unless you could get like local reaction to it. And here, what Jingu basically is saying that he wants to get local reaction to it about gun control. So I thought that was actually a good idea, something that could be obtainable, something to be accessible and usable, okay? So um, this one, I mean, I, this was like something where I basically approved the topic, but I also made sure that I tell people that, look, you know, this happened like two months ago. Somebody also wanted to write about the Snoop Dogg concert. Well, that happened like about, what, a month ago or more. So, you know, basically, okay, fine, you can do that, but just make sure that, you know, um, just make sure that uh, you know it's it's timely, it's fresh, that sort of thing. Because you know, if you're gonna write about something that happened like a month or two ago, you, I don't want to see like perspectives from people like a month or two ago, especially in this kind of situation about Hurricane Ida, which happened two months ago. Okay, so um, you know, you know, a lot of things have changed in those last two months, and you know, I mean, uh, maybe like how are the people doing now as opposed to two months ago? Two months ago, they were probably in much more horrific shape than they were. But how are they doing now? So you would have to update that to now. You have to make sure, because again, news is the plural of new, okay? Um, you know, this one I felt like, this was an example of one where I felt like some people kind of strayed into, I guess I would say the analytical end of things. And, you know, while this could be a news story and everything, I don't think this is a news story for us and not, 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 nothing to do with the topic. It's, you know, cancel culture, um, which is which I know is a controversial topic and that sort of thing. But I said, okay, fine, we can write about this, but you need to actually not write about it as a, this is for this, my personal topic is cancel culture in this modern day and age, as careers, blah, blah, blah. The rise of cancel culture has begun. Canceling someone is a modern form of ostracizing, I think that's that word, ostracizing, ostracizing essentially, in which someone is pushed out social, professional social media circles. Um, is cancel culture a form of censorship? I mean, it almost sounds like it's something analytical, something would require, require like, you know, pundits or professors, that sort of thing. I mean, what I said basically was, okay, fine, let's do this topic. But again, I want something that contains material that's accessible and obtainable. So interview students, make it a 
Rutgers story, Rutgers, how Rutgers students feel about this so-called cancer culture, which I know a lot of people have issues with that term as it is. So, um, so fine, just as long as you localize it, you get people who can actually just actually talk to it and speak to it, okay? Um, all right. Um, okay, so that's the deal with that. Um, this is another one, basically, G2 sum, G20 summit. Okay. It's fine, right? You write about that, but again, we're not writing national stories here. We're writing stories that people like locally care about, and also stories that you can, I mean, you're not gonna be able to interview Biden. So <laughs> fine, you write about climate change or global warming, it says here, but get local reaction to it, okay? All right, so that's the deal with the major assignment, okay? Um, you know, this one actually I approved. Oh, I have to admit, I, I didn't really write this to Ross, but basically I want to say it's fine, but I, I am a little bit worried about getting access, people getting access to people, you know, and I was like, okay, well, this one I felt like was possibly, it does say students, which is fine. I mean, basically that would be a good idea getting students reaction, but I don't, you know, athletes, I mean, do, give it your best shot, but that might just be best as like a local reaction story or something, okay? Um, okay, so anyway, um, and actually while, while you're, so anyway, um, I want people to basically make sure that they are able to do something and actually be successful at it too. Let's look at the uh, assignment actually, which is now posted on, um, on Canvas, okay. Um, and basically, I mean, again, it kind of repeats what has been said already a million times. Um, but there we go, it's listed under upcoming assignment. You'll see it's listed again, due December 13th at 11.59 p.m. For the assignment you will write on, a, on your approved topic for major assignment. The idea here is that reporters want to be self-managers and you need to think of ideas on your own. Your topic was approved except for two people. Those people should get their topics to me by December 15th. Those two people. No matter what your topic, your description of your story should focus on, much of the same thing I discussed before. What's timely? News events impacting you and the people you care about. But basically, the most recent things that have happened. Okay. Again, keep it simple. Please, no anecdotal leads. Just hard news leads. Just basically, I. I know we're talking about identical anecdotal leads in the uh, feature assignment, but this is not a feature story. It's supposed to be a hard news story, essentially dealing with a uh, edgy hard news topic. Okay, so you know whether it's I mean reaction to it of a story like climate change or something is newsy to people and it's probably something that people would care about maybe they would care about you know what kind of atmosphere they have or student atmosphere or student thought is takes place at a, at a college where they're, where they're thinking about going so um something that incorporates again what we talked about this semester shows impact and it's relatable it's more and more relatable than interviewing students okay um so here are the deadlines, okay, December 13th, it's 800 to 1100 words this time, okay? No rewrite, okay? It's recommended, but not mandatory to submit a draft to me. I really, really recommend that, okay? I give you at least some guidance of where to go. Some of you have done that already on some of your assignments, but please, maybe a week before, a few, even a few days before is fine, or the story is due, and then the final submission will be done via Canvas right here um, on, uh, on this entry right here, okay? All right, so that's actually all I have this semester. As I told you, those final three chapters I had to ask you to read, don't have to read. But, you know, let's just talk about, you know, let's just make sure we get this megalomania thing done, feature assignment done, and of course, the major assignment done. And again, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, and I'll be talking.